mark this the day that Turkey changed forever. Thousands celebrate a new constitution. Preliminary results give this man, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, more power. Regardless of what people voted for, I would like to thank every single member of our nation who attended the ballot box to indicate their choice. Turkey, in respect of supporting its democracy and respecting people's choices, Turkey will be able to overcome all sorts of difficulties, crises, and issues. And no vote would have rebuked the strongman who has led the country for over a decade. And that's why millions of Turks, young and old, descended on the ballots to cast their vote in this narrow referendum. This father of three voted yes, telling me it's better for my country, the economy, my children's future that President Erdogan has more power. Maliha agrees, saying of course she voted yes. We've benefited greatly by President Erdogan's leadership. If I said no, the bad times would return. But with celebration comes sorrow. The no campaign said they faced intimidation and threats of violence. Independent election monitors say state media and pro-government outlets slanted coverage in favor of yes. And that's what had no voters despairing. Actually, I'm sad. I cried all night. It's really sad that we have to do this whole thing even. I mean, in 15 years, we saw that, you know, the radical Islam has come to power and we ended up with dictatorship. This father had voted for his daughter's future also, telling me it's courageous to talk about this. Democracy is important. Multi-party system, separation of powers, checks and balances, it's valuable. That's why I voted no. Security concerns also dominated the lead up to this referendum. A threat of a terror attack loomed large. Security has been tight at polling stations like this one here in Istanbul. Hundreds of thousands of members of the security forces have been deployed across the country to secure the referendum. Polls closed without a major incident, but with such a narrow victory, no perceived mandate, and the president previously calling no voters traitors who side with supporters of terror. The question now, can Recep Tayyip Erdogan heal the wounds of this deeply divisive and polarizing referendum. Ian Lee, CNN, Istanbul.